Hello comrades and welcome back to Mount Doom. Some time went by and I got many nice comments, I will refer to them uh, later on. Um, this will be a little bit of a housekeeping episode and I will explain how the next episodes will look like and how we proceed. Let's go to our favorite topic which is this uh, super shop here. Mm. It works and um, at the moment there's a static food line which extends the storage of the food which Oliki says ah you need to make a 80-20-20 or 80-10-20 or 70-10-20 setup which is right it's by the consumption but my um, I use the disk truck to always pull in food push in food and if it's empty he needs to go to the border and back uh, to deliver and I have a buffer storage of four tons so if he's faster than the four tons are used then I'm good and then I can have bigger storages of these lower uh, goods and the lower goods are uh, delivered by the distribution office with smaller trucks and they are not so used so rapidly like food so it should be fine also the meat situation is now stable because I have enough sellers <laughs> would thought about this I have a little uh, shop here Ah, the one thing I want to do is I should come into the problems that I have two little spaces for my people. Let's correct this one and do something for my people. Mm, a little lousy house. Maybe not everything the same. The other house which is quite good. Oh, it's in the last category as usual. Where are you hiding? Uh, you should be okay. This one is quite good. Um, it has good amount of population and also a good amount of housing quality. Which also I got a comment. Um, I think it was from Sean. Um, my happiness is on tops now. It's wasted because of the whole winter situation. But I reach a happiness of over ninety percent. This one you only reach if you have uh, super housing. So, like these houses here are 98% quality. I wouldn't make all houses uh, have this kind of quality, but it's nice to have it because every additional percentage you have is a buffer if something goes wrong. And as we have seen, things can go wrong. Okay. Now you connect here and con later on we we'll connect you there. Okay. Good. So, where would, do we want to go? We still have the plan to uh, kill the coal economy. And here's our first corporate for this one. Okay, we are in a stage. Yeah, this one I want to see. Um, you are the people office here. So, we stop you uh, for the moment. And stop you completely. Um, because I want to have here this last part of road done. And hopefully I will select the right distribution offices. I must reorganize them also. A little bit of housekeeping, like I said. Oh, let, this, let it find. I hope they find it. If not, yeah. Like I said, reorg. Um, yeah. So I want to have this last part. We have the adventure tunnel. We have here the station where the people come in. We have one factory to give us a normal coal. We have here a loading station for raw coal and normal coal. And we need some rail business, which we come to next episode. And uh, yeah, here this this needs to move for our rail business. This can go, okay. And uh, here we have some buses and somebody else who's waiting there, so we can get a second people office to work here. Let's see how we make it the least obnoxious way. Are you? Are you? You are? Okay. Can mirror you. Okay. Are you connected already? Seems so. Okay, good. So, a free distribution office, which I wanted to get rid of, but here we are. Mm. No water tank. Okay. 
Uh, construction office, I'm sorry. You go in here. You can't. So I didn't connect you. What's this? But there's no sign. Am I in the wrong... Ah, yes. Okay. Good. So you go here, mostly. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Mm. I want to have clear off at least this one. If possible, most of them. Um, I also want to activate the distribution office because I want to activate my construction area. Let me take a look now. Make you on high priority. Okay. Good. The water truck needs to go somewhere. Do we have a place here? No, we don't. Okay. Um, let's let's um, set up the store so it does not get any food, any meat delivery dire directly because there were some questions when it pushes and pulls. I hope we see it in this episode. Um, it's a little bit confusing because it sometimes works, sometimes isn't, especially if it's overcrowded. Um, I really don't like it if... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I really don't like it if this mechanic is not obvious for the player. So I think it's bad bug. Mm. Here we can pull in some people, hopefully. Let's see. Can make use of our people here. Yes. Let's jump in here. Okay. So they will help with the construction here. So this one is ready. Um, this setup is good to go. There should be farming equipment on the way. Yes. Okay. A farming? <laughs> Sorry, I have done farming videos and single-minded now. Um, yeah. Okay. This one can be done with the construction office. Mm. Let's make the second one work for it. Ah, wrong button. And not, no, no people. Okay. People get from here. And please do me this one and do me another one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. So we have power for this whole thing. We have. We can use some fuel. Um. To use. No, let's use a mud station. It's well fitting here in the mining business. A little bit apart, so if they are standing here, I can still refuel. Be a nice thing. Okay. My distribution office, my local fuel distribution office is here. Hopefully he has some space. Also subject to reorg. Yeah, he has some space. I need an exclusive local fuel distribution office because they all need fuel. Uh, these ones need fuel. He needs fuel. Uh, a lot of slots which I don't have at the moment. Okay. Good. Is he filling up? No, he isn't. And he has no power. That's strange. Hopefully you get your power from here. Let's see. Where are you? Ah, from here. What? Ah! No? Okay. Whew. Something is wrong with my setup here. Top. What? Okay. That's not good. Go away. Oh, clunky. <laughs> What's this business? You. <laughs> this is great. Where do you come from? Go away. Go home. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Soviet game does not play well with me. Okay, okay. No questions asked. Um, yeah. So hopefully if I pick this one here and not... Have I destroyed the connection maybe? Where are you? Show me your secret. Oh, it looks good. Mm, I think I've destroyed it. A little bit of telephone line. Yeah. No, nice. I don't like the small parts because they... Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Good. So, you are ready and want to work, but you have no cement, which is okay. We wait for the distribution office and also have no power. I think, yeah, will come if I don't uh, delete it. You have no bitumen. I want to have bitumen here from the refinery. He is served by the local office, which we had a moment ago. This is the refinery office, I think. Load at the oil refinery. Yeah. So, comrade, you have a new job. Oh, you already have the job. Already have the job. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Hopefully it's uh, loading. Yeah, okay. Have the job. Nice. Good. Need some power, perhaps. Okay. Good. Pardon me. <coughs> so... We have this bridge, which is a nice bridge, but um, our ships cannot cross under it, so it also is subject to change. Um, we have our long road, which could be also fixed here and there, because uh, it's quite adventurous. <laughs> Um, we have our second new construction office site, which comes along nice. That's good. Um, I want to kill as many mod offices as mud offices as I can. This is the road to Canada. It looks like it. Okay, yeah. So we have here a mixed uh, office, which can uh, not do this, but can do this. can join in here. Okay. You can get a little bit smaller. Mm. Yeah, here are our preparations for further development. This one is also um, distribution office for fuel to get rid of another mud distribution office. Here's a technical service ready, which is nice. So you can move. This one is empty here, so bye-bye. Okay. Maybe I move the water truck in here, which is a good idea. This one is a depot, which I currently don't use. can get a new one. So... You can go. Good. Cleaning up, cleaning up. Okay. A fire, we have... Yeah, somebody is working here. Yeah, you have no... <laughs> you have no toilet, but you have the nature. Um, okay. We are still exporting to the uh, west, fuel and oil, which is okay, I think. We have no pressure here. Our oil tank is full. We could extend this one, but I think we can wait a little bit. We are decommissioning our uh, traditional setup. So here is some... Here is still a line. Also has a line. Let's see. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. He needs to go to the... Uh, <laughs> To the vehicle depot I get rid of. Oh no. Uh, what do you have loaded, my friend? Some oil. Okay. And you are waiting to unload it. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
Maybe next time. Mm. Okay. So here's all going good and well. I have still some construction offices here. Ah, this one is constructing. Yeah. To get rid of some mud refueling stuff. Oh, Stalinek is also sitting here. Waiting for something to do in his life. Can help you. Okay. Good. This one is a distro office. I think I can get rid of it. Yeah. But I have to remember to um, feed the local first. Let's tell him not to load. And after he's back, he will, we will uh, reallocate him. Mm. Okay, all clear. This one is clear. Good. Good, good, good. This one is done. Nice. So I can move my people. My people go, please. Yeah. And you take as a source... This one? Did you take it? Yeah, it doesn't bloop at the first time, which is highly annoying. So, this one, yeah. If you don't, if he can't, he does bloop. But if he can, he doesn't bloop if it's the border. Yeah, yeah if you. Sh don't know if you can follow it, but. Uh, um, yeah. Mm, okay. This one is the. Yeah. This one is very, very important. It's the <laughs> central the fuel distribution for the whole republic. You are empty. Bye. Mm. You should have an empty slot. This fuel station needs... Oh, it has power. Nice. Good. Yeah. Well done, Dennis. Okay. So this one can go. Good. Are you the distribution of this truck? Yes, you are. That's so nice of you. And you are not empty, which is no good. <laughs> what do you do with your life? Hmm. Should we wait? But yeah, okay. Don't want to play this game. Sorry. Environment protection, something, something. Hmm. A little bit faster, please. Okay. These are all um, to start. Uh, have everything to I need to expand. Mm. I need few free offices and uh, means to deal with uh, additional vehicles. Ah, oh, you get a new home. Talking about free offices. Ah, you also have um, power. These ones should also be here. Yeah, only need people. Okay. Do we have... Um, do you know where you get your stuff? Yeah. He knows. And just to be safe, he doesn't know. No bloop. <laughs> um, good. Be very, very careful, aim. 
Okay. Yes. Nice. Good. Okay. These ones are still waiting to do something with their lives. Which is okay. Okay. So, yeah. Nice point to proceed here. So we have power. There's the next fuel station, which is currently under construction. Should be on high priority because there's a crane. If there's a crane, also people should come, which come from here. They're at the moment at auto assign, so let's uh, make them 3000 meters auto assign so they find everything. This one also. Need to assign fuel to them so they don't drive around like maniacs. Okay, good. Here's all clear. We had also construction efforts here. We could build another normal train, normal gas station. Some future efforts. Okay. Um, so we can kill this one when the time comes. Okay. Good. Okay, this distribution office is quite important for me. Let's stop it a little bit. Um, how we are going on with the situation here? High priority, please. And does somebody work on here? Okay. Let's see. Mm, I want to move you guys. Yeah. You home. Welcome. And also all of you. Okay. Good. So this is um this does several things. It does most of the things this small one does, but um not the fuel stuffs. So we have some um meat and food. <laughs> what should go wrong? Um stuff. These I will pull out. I'm sorry. <clears throat> have a little bit of coffee. Okay. Let's pull them out to the big one. Hey. Good. He is empty. Bye. You are empty. Bye bye. Good. Need some space for future projects. Um, main, namely the train line. Mm. You are still here hanging around. I think it will be okay. Hopefully it is not in a way. But you know the game. Um, so you. Get me from the border. Load. Food. This, this, this. This. And that. Okay. First one is water treatment. Shop and storage. Shop, you load this and that. What should go wrong? And storage, you load meat. Okay. And you're also responsible for the second storage, the second shop. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's not forget our prisoners. Okay. Does somebody still... Yeah, let's not forget our pub. <laughs> what should go wrong? Um, okay, I think for people goods, this is uh, all we need. And um, now, because this one is next to the border and has a special purpose also, we need uh, dry bulk trucks. Total capacity. Uh, vanilla. Okay. One, two, three. Good. Because we also want some uh, cement. And here, yes. 
And here. The trick is, the cement plant has a quite decent internal storage with 40 tons. And if I say here, what is the capacity of one of you? 7 tons. That's not bad. Um, so 40 tons, 7 tons, 33 tons needs to be filled. This is 80%. Uh, so uh, I want my trucks always to be full, so I uh, make this calculation. 80% full. So every time this one goes under 80%, under 33 tons, a new truck moves out and fills up the storage of this facility. So, uh, and with let's say 30 tons of uh, cement, we can make 175 tons of concrete, which is a big thing. <laughs> quite good so yeah no need to complain here mm. our construction business is ready so we don't need any storage or nothing connected here we can simply go as we want and that's good okay so our bus station meep, meep. yes this looks good also yes Mm, we can connect. We can create our own gravel, and here's also fuel. Okay, uh, what I can do is this one. Where I don't know how long you exist. <laughs> Let's see. So he fills up at the gas gas station, which is uh, no. He don't fill up at the gas station. Oh, you bugger! Customs house. You don't fill up here. Okay. Mm. This one we don't need, this one we don't need, this one we don't need, this one also we don't need, okay. So this is my local fuel distribution for the moment. Do you fill up? Yeah, you fill up at the gas station, okay. You fill up at here. Yeah, which is the exchange point for my factory and my, uh, so my oil refinery and these trucks. And as long as you don't pull in massive amounts of fuel, because the internal storages of all the local stuff runs out very slow so yeah good to go the only thing is the distribution office is not l right next to the gas station uh, which is always preferable because you also uh, don't lose any sight of the things which if you have all every distribution office mm -hmm. plastered all over the place mm -hmm. you will lose the sight and control are you full no you aren't ah, mm. ah yeah we already assigned you okay Okay, so they are no dealt with, and mm. what? Fifteen years, yes. It's already assigned, really? Are you? Oh, you are. Okay. Nice. I thought I didn't, but I did. That's good. Okay. But uh, also locally, I want to assign maybe these ones, but they have a decent storage. So if this is under thirty percent, one full fuel truck comes from the uh, yeah refinery. So I rather prefer it to have a direct connection than to have a switcheroo here through the oil storage. Okay. Good. So hopefully this is all assigned right. <laughs> Again, watch go raw. Yeah. Um. Oh, here's some crime. They're getting new stuff here. Okay, good. This one is also stable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's assign these ones to their respective goods so they can start to work I make them auto search they can find their own projects it's okay as long as um, I have my people under control I don't mind if the specialized or general construction offices are on auto search I just want to be uh, in charge how and where my people work so these two distribution offices are quite important for me i only want them to assign when there's something to do also there should be a crane somewhere lurking around here 
a road crane? You. Okay. Because the crane and the people should always be at the same time place. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's uh, confusing. And uh, yeah, nobody does anything for you. Okay. Good. Are you... You should be assigned to people. Yeah. Good. So, what's your next adventure? Should be this one here. I'm sorry. Yeah. And the adventure of your partner? This and a teensy tiny bit here. Okay, good. Now uh, let's make this low priority and give you also this one to work on. Okay. So we are starting hopefully up. Oh, we need f we need power, I think. Okay. Because, yeah. He's missing stuff. Um, these are all look happy. So let's get some tapas. Auto mm -mm. capacity? Yeah, vanilla. One, two, three. Okay. This one is moving along. Yeah, a little bit too good. People. Let's make it 20. Now, I can move in here. It's no problem. Okay. They take care. Good. Let's. Do I have 2000 meters? So they go on to the mount. Yeah. Okay. Good. So let's check the mount. Hmm. Like I said, a little bit housekeeping episode. Um, yeah. Here's stuff done. This is a uh, crew to make nice and straight roads. Okay. They are done. I can connect you. And connect you. Okay. Ooh. I'm sorry for the scrolling. Um, a little tiny road, please. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Good. Okay, they are working on the mountain. Um. Ah! The road is also worked on. I think I interrupted the efforts, but yeah, there we go. Oh, and yeah, Comrade Stalinek is driving around. How nice of the game. Sometimes the game really does it right. <laughs> I'm always surprised by this one. Okay, yeah, because I didn't told him that he cannot drive by himself, but he chose the uh, pickup. It's really good. Really good. Okay. Comrade Big Truck, one, two, and three. Okay. Start our gravel business. I started now the gravel business simply because I want to expand in this way to be a little bit less reliant on the border and uh, that we can pull it more and faster gravel in massive amounts. Load, unload, so you don't drive around like a crazy person. Okay. Okay. 
Hopefully comrades are fast enough. Oh, these ones aren't done. You. The priority could be lower for... Low? And low? Okay. Good. Ah, oh, we have power. Okay. Good, good. So this is the foundation for the further expansion. Like I said, I want to make an episode where I plan different things. The first thing we will plan is a rail office. And um, so a little rail yard here for the border access. And then we will plan the rail route here up to the mountain. Then we will plan a rail route here down. I want to build some industrial area here. And next thing we will plan, and this is why I said there will be smaller episodes, I hope, <laughs> uh, is, the, uh, is the access here and here with rail and with, uh, with roads. And I don't want to lose time. Um, time is on the essence here because inflation is sitting in my neck and I want to destroy the coal price which uh, does not go from itself. So uh, we are on the 13th of April <clears throat> and try to be here stingy with my time. Uh, yeah. That's why I'm doing this and cleaning here up so we have uh, space for our further, further construction plans and space for our new citizens and ah, and on the uh, here the oil refinery also gets an upgrade, so <laughs> yeah, will be exciting. Okay, this one is ready, which is always a good thing. And get some fuel. As long as we have empty spaces for fuel, we can also assign them. Okay, this one is a depot, which is not so super important. Okay, and this one, nobody takes care of. Okay. But I think it will come. Let's see. You look strange. My dude, are you full? No, you aren't. Go home. Go home? No? No? Drunken comrade. Okay. You should pick up the road. No, you shouldn't. Okay. Good. Now you're picking up. Also, I need some uh, power set up here. There's no power here. <laughs> Maybe a dreaded windmill. I usually really am against windmills, but yeah. Yeah. It's not the most central thing in the world here. Okay. So this is my export to Western border. Okay, good. So these are all preparations done and uh, we are on good way to start with the planning next episode. Let's talk a little bit about what happened here. So I got some comments and really great ones also from uh, experienced players, which I love because this one also baffled me, the situation here. So Kaya Maya said uh, that she also had some problems with the shop. Maybe it's because of overrun or if you're really playing on the edge of the game and with realistic mode, you can run into problems very fast. Um, the, the KG wants to call the police? <laughs> I don't know. KG, does the police bring you an emergency meet in Canada? Sounds interesting. But hey, why not? A um, little bit more on the serious remarks. This this connection is really uh, good and at the same time a little bit stupid. Ah, and now I have the situation. Yeah, this one Teapot is talking about. If if you have uh, free storage here and you have uh, meat unloading here, which I have here, this is my emergency line, and he tries to unload all meat. Um, let's say you go... 
What do we do with you? You go here. So if you have uh, the problem I had, and I had here the direct line which push in meat into the store, it pushes the same way to this storage if it's free. So uh, I get only very small amounts of meat because it also pushes it into the storage. They, the game sees it as a connected storage which is shared. So yeah, there's a problem because uh, meat went here and here, but don't return to the shop. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I had most of the time no meat. Another commenter said, ah, there, there's only meat pushed from the shop the way uh, it needed to, which is not completely right. If it, the shop is overrun, which was also the response from TG Vision, you will get zero, zero meat out of the storage. So nothing, nada. And um, usually if you... Uh, if they pull out meat of the storage, it is if they are on a very low amount. So you see here 0 0.8 tons. Uh, it needs to be lower and lower to be pushed out of the storage. It's like 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 tons. Then they push again another piece of meat out of the storage. Uh, but they will not fill it up. You only fill it up. And this one was also the comments of uh, Hannibal and Frankie Berlin. They're absolutely right. You can put in here a forklift loading station. The nice thing about the forklift loading station is that you have additional inputs. So you can pull in such a station here, for example, like this, or rather like that. And you can have one storage connected to meat storage and one for normal storage, and you can make them work. And the next thing is because the meat storage, uh, the, this is an active connection, so it will fill up the store all the time. It will try to keep the store filled. This one is a passive connection, so it will not push. This one does not push anything to the store. The store can only choose to pull something from the connection. It is a little bit different if somebody loads in here something. If he loads in here something, it also gets pushed by the store. Because this one then is seen like a cargo loading station. So if you have something the same way the store was seen as a cargo loading station. You, you load in here meat, it gets pushed into here. You load in here meat, it also gets pushed into here. There are one system. Um, do I have such a setup in my Republic? I don't think so. No, at the moment not. I try to be, I always try to be as simple and as small as possible. And this is why I don't like the forklift setup. Because it's the freaking center of the town. I don't want to have any forklifts here. <laughs> yeah. This one is enough, uh, the factory connection. So yeah, I always search for our small solutions to make it work. Also, this is why I have here the food line bespoken. We are on 1.8 tons of food and the uh, truck is doing their best to get some food from the border. You should make it and um, it's okay. At the same time you see here the food is going down, uh, meat is going down 0 0.3 tons. I don't know if you've seen a jump into the uh, into this episode, but I don't also don't want to drag it on for no reason. Yeah, I think you have seen a little bit of jump here, and nothing gets delivered. It's only uh, pulling a tiny bits of the storage out of the fuel. What they need, it's the same thing here. So uh, here I also have passive connections. I have no uh, pump, so to speak, no conveyor engine. So they get filled through the factory, but also they hopefully push, pull if they are needed. It. We will see. <laughs> the moment they are complaining because there's no gravel. And the gravel does not flow because there's no power. And the power is not there because Nobody wants to work on it. Electro components. That's my cover tool. Open, open. Open. Do I have no cover tool? Open. Don't see it. 
Write it in the comments if you see it. <laughs> no, I don't do such bullshit. Um, open. Mm -mm -mm. Here you are. What do you do? Mechanical component. Ah, you're busy. See. Yeah, he's dealing with the. Uh, oh. Okay. Get high priority. Okay. Yeah. So, if he starts to produce, he will push in into the storage and through the storage also to these ones, which is a. Don't rely on this system. <laughs> it's crazy. But they also should pull their fair amount of uh, gravel what they need, but their storage usually don't fill up from the store because this one is passive and they only pull. So you need a pump, uh, like here, for example. Um, so yeah, the pump always fills up the storage after the pump. The same way like uh, this one, for example, here. If it gets loaded, if it gets some fuel, and uh, you have an underground pipe, and here a pump to this one, and he will take care that this one is always full. If I wouldn't have a pump here, he also would push, pull as he needed it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it isn't. <laughs> I didn't trust the game in this situation. So if you uh, have some liquids, I always use pumps if I can. Just to be on the safe side. Because what should go wrong in this game? Yeah, nearly nothing. Okay, good. Do I have some further comments on this one which I wanted to respond? Let me see. Yeah, the last one, uh, Sean responded. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Sean. Um, nice to read your comments also at the old series. Uh, I really like it for some feedback, constructive or uh, even if you uh, find something uh, not so correct, uh, leave it in there. We can talk about this all the time. Um, he said that the shop, shop should pull and um, yeah, I said before, if it's overcrowded, it pulls zero. So no luck for you, comrade. Yeah, But the stable, uh, the meat situation is now stable and everything works like ever before <laughs> yeah uh, happiness of the people is uh, over 86 percent we are still on the way up what does our radio do it's well filled 70 percent effectiveness 80 percent effectiveness is good loyalty is going up what's the loyalty doing a lot of people management at the end so the loyalty yeah um hmm? Make it on all. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Looks good. So with the radio, you can have a, a theoretically a mess, um, complete loyalty of 65%. The more educated people have more radios, so they get faster the loyalty. Mm. If you have no radio, no propaganda for you. But we can lower it a little bit because I have good passive loyalty and I think um, I can also push a little bit of happiness up. Also, yeah, okay, my uh, alcohol and anti-church propaganda is also working on my people. What is the rate of alcoholism? Yeah, that's low, 10%, it's okay. If they are happy, they don't drink, and uh, if they drink, it's also not a super bad thing, because uh, pff, um, they are happy, and I think happy people are more important, happy and productive people, than uh, people who live until their end of time. At the moment, I have... Uh, living age here 83 years which is uh, totally fine i have nice growth of population that's why we're building the next one okay good so next episode like i said planning 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 we will uh, have four projects to plan out and i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to your comments keep it on guys have fun enjoy the game and see you next time bye